much at all to go off of when it comes to Sounders related news. But that changed also on January 5th. It was a busy day in the Seattle sports world um, as the Sounders, you know, free agency uh, in the offseason. There are moves that are rumored to be uh, finalized and getting finalized. But until we get an official word, I don't want to bring anything fake. So we'll talk about the rumors in a minute, but we'll get to the official finalized stuff here in, uh, to begin with. On the fifth, the club signed center back Nathan Cardoso, who primarily goes by Nathan, to a deal. The 6'2", 28-year-old defender from Brazil uh, previously spent the 2021 and 22 seasons playing with the San Jose Earthquakes. He had really strong seasons there uh, with the Earthquakes, but he did miss this past year of 2023 with an ACL injury that he suffered um, in the preseason. So tough there, but if... This is an interesting signing uh, because at the end of season press conference, Craig Weibel said that the club really wasn't going to mess with the defense uh, and primarily look at adding attackers. But this this is more than likely a depth signing. Uh, as I mentioned, 28 years old, spent three seasons with the Earthquakes, missed last year. Uh, he's now apparently fully healed from that injury and should be a full participant as preseason opens uh, here in four days on the 12th. So... It's interesting. You know, there was some thought that maybe his injury history and his salary, he was earning 700000 back in 2023, was enough to scare him off. Uh, but so, yeah, he didn't uh, at all get selected in the re-entry draft. He was made a free agent. But when he was healthy with the Earthquakes, he was a regular starter. He was among the league leaders in tackles and interceptions, very effective playing the ball in the air. Um as well as moving the ball up in 2022. So this really projects as a third center back, maybe pushing Jackson Reagan and, and Yamar Gomez Andrade um, as a third center back, but also considering the fact that we talked about it when the end of the season press conference happened, Weibel had said that they didn't plan on moving Javier Arriaga at all, even though teams had inquired, and that might change with the signing of Nathan. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if a deal is made, I know Austin FC has inquired about Javier Arriaga. Uh, so as I mentioned, it'll be interesting to see what this signing does change. Um, but yeah, projects as a third starter, uh, at, well, third center back. I'm not mad at it. It's always good to have depth. You never know when injuries can ha happen. Seattle was uncharacteristically healthy at the center back position, knock on wood, this past year. Um, so I'm happy with it. I just wonder where the fallout will go with Javier Arriaga following that deal. In addition to that news on the 5th of the signing, uh, there were three Sounders players called into international duty. The first two both going to the U.S. men's national team. Two younger players, not the players that you're traditionally used to seeing go to the U.S. men's national team. Uh, def defender Jackson Reagan, as I just talked about, the 25-year-old, earned his first call-up to the U.S. men's national team as the Sounders FC Academy product joins uh, midfielder Josh Atencio for January camp and a Slovenian friendly. Reagan helped anchor the Seattle back line, as you'll remember, this past season uh, that was tied for the fewest gold allowed in MLS. So that'll be exciting for him uh, to join that national team. Josh Atencio, as I mentioned, the 21-year-old midfielder called up. Uh, he was called up back in November for the U.S. Olympic men's team and previously represented the U.S. at the U15 and U17 levels, making 10 youth national team appearances since the year of 2017. So those two uh, will be with the team for this January camp as they're set to face Slovenia on January 20th at Toyota Field in San Antonio, Texas at 12 p.m. Pacific time. You can watch that if you're so compelled on TNT, uh, Max, and Peacock. So uh, very nice for those two players to get that recognition. And then the third player from the Sounders called up in international duty, Nuhu, Nuhu for Cameroon. Uh, the 26-year-old has 28 career caps for Cameroon since the year of 2018, playing every minute in all three of Cameroon's 22 FIFA World Cup matches, including the country's historic 1-0 win over the country of Brazil. He is set to play a friendly against Zambia on January 9th, which is tomorrow, uh, before it starts um, AFCON play. So that will begin Group C action on January 15th against Guinea before facing Senegal on January 19th and Gambia back on January 23rd. So some action there as Nuhu goes uh, for a friendly tomorrow 
and then three different Group C action games uh, throughout the course of January. So it doesn't sound like he's going to be able to produce, uh, participate, pardon me, in the traditional uh, January camp that the Sounders would have for preseason.